Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I am so excited to have you here. My name is Luz and this is my channel. Today I have a very exciting video because it is a haul. I went to Old Sephora, TJ Maxx, as well as Walmart and picked up a few beauty items to share with you and show how they perform on camera. Among those products, it includes the Maybelline with Shayla City Mini Palettes. It is what I use on my eyes. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lips liquid lipsticks the little minis that she just came out with and i did swatch all three of those shades for you also stay tuned to the end for you to hear my final thoughts on these first impressions slash haul so without further ado just keep on watching i already went ahead and did my eyebrows and i primed my eyelids to set the primer i'm going to use this creamy shade in the palette this is called the base shade and it is the perfect creamy matte beige eyeshadow to set that eyeshadow primer. And I am bringing it all the way up because this is going to be my brow bone highlight. As my first transition, I'm going to use this bronzy color from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. Just because I feel like the palette does not have something lighter as a crease color. For my liking so I'm gonna start off with this one the next crease color that I'm gonna use is gonna be this one right here and this says it is a crease color <laughs> so I will take that and put it a little bit lower than that previous color making sure you bring that color all the way in towards the um, inner part of the crease towards the nose it's gonna help you ensure that it looks cohesive throughout the whole look and it gives a little bit more of a dramatic effect as well when you bring in that color all the way in. So far, I'm really liking these shadows. They're very pigmented and easy to blend. I am dragging this color out towards my temples because I do want more of an elongated eye look. Okay, now that I have that blended out, I am going to take this darker color here. They have it labeled as liner, and I'm going to use this on the outer portion of the eye. Taking a little bit of at a time and placing that right over on the outer corner of the eye. I am first patting it on here and swiping it a little bit to blend. I want this outer part to be very dark and very pigmented. But I'm still just going to go a little by little to deepen it up just to make it easier to blend. And I'm not bringing it all the way up to that crease color. Just keeping it very nice and low towards the lash line. Now that I have that on here, I will go in with my blending brush to blend it out. Now that I have that dark color all set on the outer corner of the eye. I am going to blend it in with, with a little bit of this color here, which is a lid color. I'm going to use it on the lid. And this is going to go right after the darker color, about the middle part of the eye. I'm leaving that inner corner bare because I'm going to pop in a, another color there. I do feel like I need a little bit of warmth right over here in this area. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this color here. And to make the outer corner just a little bit darker, I'm going to take that same color but on a smaller brush like this. And I'm going to go around the outer part of the eye, kind of making like a liner, but not bringing it all the way in, keeping it very close to the outer part of the eye. And around the innermost part of the eye, I'm going to take this gold color here and put that on the inner part of the eye, like I just said. I'm going to blend it out. I did add some silver right up on the crease a quick little line there i'm going to clean up the bottom portion here 
any fallout, which this palette did not have hardly any fallout. I'm not really liking this very harsh gold and the purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the gold with the bronzer color just to mute down that gold a little tiny bit, but still keep it shimmery. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. I already went ahead and primed my face, so I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up this Marc Jacobs foundation. This is the Marvelous Mousse Transformative Foundation. I got the shade Golden Medium. I hope it matches me. It says this is a lightweight, full coverage, luxurious foundation. So it's not available at Sephora anymore. But it was at one point and it retailed for $55 and I picked it up for $12.99. I saw that you can still get it at the, on the Marc Jacobs website. I don't know if they're discontinuing this product or what's going on, but I picked mine up for $12.99. And this is what the packaging looks like. It says it's a mousse foundation and marvelous mousse, transformative foundation. And again, I picked it up in the shade Golden Medium. I already kind of touched it and I tried to match it to my skin when I got to my house. It looks like it's going to match. Uh, it might be just a tiny bit too light, but nothing we can work with. Upon touching it, it does not feel like a mousse. It feels more like a cream and it seems like it has pretty good coverage and it dry, dries down to a powdery finish. I am going to use this sort of dense um, brush here just because it is a cream I don't want anything to loose and I feel like a beauty sponge will not work for this type of product. I am going to wet my brush and I'm going direct to the jar picking up the product and placing that on here. Oh wow, it might be a little bit too light. So here it is on half of my face. It is quite yellow, which I like. It has pretty good coverage. It does take some time to blend. Like it's not super easy to blend, but it's not horrible. It does dry up quite quickly. So I'm gonna do the other half and we'll see how it looks. having trouble with the nose it seems I'm trying to get in good lighting here for you to see it keeps moving in the, around the nose let me try to put a little bit more I find that it separates and it gets very patchy so once I blend it out and then if I go back in over it you can see the brush you see how it creates like a brush stroke. So I'm gonna just go very lightly and see if that helps. I'm really not liking the way it looks around the nose. You see how it is separating? I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. There we go. You see how you can see how it's separating? And even if I go over it with some more, now it just looks really cakey. Mm -mm. I'm not liking the way it looks in the nose. On camera, you can't really tell. But in person, you can see it separating and looking cakey, particularly around the nose area. Everywhere else, it looks okay. Just the nose does not look good. But let's move on. So when I went to Ulta, I picked up this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. I've never tried this concealer. It is raved and everybody gives it... Um, a good comparison to the NARS concealer, the um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I've never tried that one either, so I figured I would give the Maybelline one a try. I'm going to use the same 
same brush to blend it out. But first I'm gonna put some Fix Plus. I'm trying to make the nose issue work and it's just not doing it for me. It's that foundation. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to go back. I mean, for $12, I would have to play with it and see if maybe using a different brush would work. To set the under eye, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I picked this up at Walmart for $3.99, I think, or $4.99. I'm gonna put this everywhere, I put the concealer. That foundation is still kissing me off. The nose is looking really bad, really patchy. But we must continue. So I'm cleaning off the brush, and I'm gonna use the same brush, but on the other side to contour. This is very powdery. Whoa. That was a lot more pigmented than I thought. Okay, now let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to take this color here, the crease color, and use kind of like a fluffy, a small detail fluffy brush and run that across the lower lash line. And then a very small brush like this one with that darker liner color and keeping this very close to the lash line. And then I am going to grab my fluffy brush and run it around the lower lash line just to blend everything out and diffuse it. I'm also going to use those same two shadows that I used on the inner corner and bring them in here in the lower corner, inner corner too. All right guys, now that I have the eyes all done, the whole face is done, let's try out these liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick set in Dazed, Bittersweet, and Hudson. They're all minis and I picked these up at Sephora. Let's start off with the lightest one. Ooh, this is so pretty. This one is called Hudson. The wand is different compared to the other um, liquid lipsticks that I have. This one seems to have more of a paddle wand. And this is one of the regular lipstick wands that they have. And then this wand is more of a paddle wand. <laughs> shade Hudson once on the lips it's beautiful 
beautiful. I really like how it looks with this eyeshadow look. It is a neutral nude, darker nude. Sorry, the application is not perfect. But I think it's so pretty. The next color I'm going to try is called Bittersweet. So this is the color Bittersweet. This one's more like a brown color. It's really, oh, and this one looks really good with this eye look too. These are perfect for fall, guys. They just scream fall to me. I don't know. <laughs> the last color on here is called Dazed. And this one has more of red tones in it versus the other one was cool tone uh brown toned and then the first one was more of a nude i think this one would be great for the holiday season This is the last color. This is Dazed. So tell me which one is your favorite. I think mine with this look was the first one. Um, this one is a little bit more on the red side, which is still a beautiful color. Just, I don't think it looks the best with this eye look, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful color. These are very long lasting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash first impressions slash haul. Let me tell you what I think about the products that I've picked up and how I think they have. If you cannot guess already what I think about them. If you think you can guess what I think about them, just put it down below and see if you guessed right. So let's start off with the foundation. I feel the shade matches pretty good. It's nothing, it's a tiny bit too light, but I know winter is coming, so it'll fit perfect. I am not very happy with the way it performs around the nose. I haven't had an issue like this in a long time. So I feel like it might be because I have a um, combination skin and I get oily around the nose. I'm not so sure. But everywhere else, it looks pretty good. As you can see, I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm not going to do a, a full-on review on this, but it, I will... I will update you down in the description bar to see how it lasts throughout the day. But so far, I'm really liking it, minus the nose issue. And now that I'm looking at it up close, after I have all it all done, it does not look as bad as it did before. I think once I put on the powders and the concealer, everything, I think it might have gotten rid of the issue. But, um, so far I like it. It is very dry. So if you have dry skin, I don't think this will be a good product for you. Moving on to the City Mini Palette. This palette is a beautiful. I think that Shayla did a wonderful job creating this palette with Maybelline. The price is great, $9.99, so it rounds out about it rounds out to about $10 and you get six pigments or six different colors i don't think that this is one of those palettes that you can use on its own i do feel like you need to complement it with another palette or just other different eyeshadows that you might have around um but it is a wonderful palette the pigments are beautiful they blend it out great and i highly highly recommend this palette 
have it. Highly recommend it. Moving on to the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I, I think it's a great under eye setting powder and it does brighten. I know they also have a different shade, more of a cooler tone shade. So if you don't like warm, a warm contour color this is not for you but they do have a cold tone one i prefer a warm tone contour and i think it if you're my skin color this would be great it shows up on the skin which is a plus it is very pigmented it is a little bit on the powdery side but once you tap off your brush you're good to go i think this is great and for four dollars it's it's a great it's a wonderful product and also the Maybelline fit me concealer this is there's a reason why this is a cult favorite this blends out beautifully the color medium works really good for me for my skin tone they do have about five different colors to choose from which is not the greatest of selections but if um, that they do have five different colors I believe they have two more darker than this one this shade medium works pretty good I do like it so far it has not creased I did set it with that wet and wild and it has increased so that's always a good sign and last but not least the Anastasia minis these are so good perfect for fall these shades are just a right up my alley they're not too cool tone they have three different colors for all different occasions they also have a different the full size i'm not sure if they have the full size for these colors but if you can pick these up go ahead and do so especially if you've never tried an anastasia lip liquid lipstick this is a great way for you to try out their formula and three different colors for 22 dollars is not too bad at all it is what i'm wearing on the lips right now and i think these are just beautiful anastasia does not disappoint when it comes to liquid lipsticks so I hope you enjoyed this haul slash first impression slash demo. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so by clicking that red subscribe button down below. And let me know what your thoughts are on any of these products. If you have them, if you think you're picking them up, let me know in the comments section. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. It truly means the world to me. And everyone, I hope you guys the best. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe picture click 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 don't forget to subscribe